And now I have the pleasure to move forward to uh, Nino Swiss collaboration. And I have the pleasure to welcome on stage Robert Van Commer, uh, Jean-Philippe Tirant, and Julien Dupont. And please take a seat. So we are proud to present you a successful Nino Swiss collaboration. Uh, but first of all, we have today here Professor Tirant. He's heading the signal processing laboratory. We have Julien Dupont, which is the lead data scientist of Cortexia and Robert Van Kommer, which is an innovation manager from Nimno Swiss and also part of the Alliance team. Um, just before we start uh, the, the discussion, Ibe Dive, it would be interesting to know, Julien, um, what makes Cortexia unique and why did Cortexia de decide to engage in a Nino Swiss uh, with the PFL? Thank you, Robert. Uh, yes, yeah, so at the first place, we want to do something for the environment. And uh, we have identified sustainability as one of the most important and also most interesting challenge uh, in this century. So specifically, we provide solutions to clean cities and help the waste management. So improving uh, waste sorting and um, promoting what is called uh, circular economy and recycling. So, as you can imagine, um, in those uh, two application fields that we are doing, uh, it's difficult with traditional ways to automate them. And that's why we see AI as a very promising solution uh, where we need otherwise many hands to, to have a fully scalable uh, solution. And this is where we go with AI to tackle these sustainability problems. To answer your second question, uh, the InnoSwiss collaboration, uh, it started with a need. Um, as you can imagine, we are a startup evolving in a very dynamic field, uh, which is changing every day. So we needed to broaden, actually, uh, our ecosystem, uh, our innovative and development ecosystem. And this is where InnoSwiss come in place. Uh, this is like the glue uh, binding the institutions together. So we are with APFL and also high schools located in Geneva, in Watt, Neuenburg, or uh, in Argau, uh, close to Zurich. Um, the, the, this is the, the unique possibility with InnoSwiss to, to have this glue and uh, um, providing resources and financement uh, funding for, for, for these research projects. Um, we had the chance to have a nice coach from Alliance that helped us uh, for the application, but actually it was not only about the application, it was also basically uh, we were sure that our business plan and our business model was strong enough uh, before starting the, the project. And the collaboration with EPFL and especially the lab of Jean-Philippe Thiron uh, we are in a partnership since the inception of Cortexia and its solution. It's very important to us and also on a personal level. I'm working two days a week in his lab with his uh, stuff and it's a very wonderful, enriching experience for me. Um, this allows us to bring directly the last technologies into our products, reducing time to market and having expertise in what we are doing. So we are understanding basically the black box uh, behind. Um, I really like this uh, cooperation and I'm looking forward to, to continue this Great. in the future. Th thank you very much for the very detailed explanation. Um, now I'd like to hear a bit more on the Onion Swiss side. So I heard it's the glue, it's the, the mentoring which is relevant, the money is a part. Can you maybe explain how, what is the mission actually for Onion Swiss? and how it supports this kind of research projects with all, these, all the different elements. Yeah, thank you for the question, Robert. So basically, the, um, the main work that we do is to, to shape first the, the innovation. The, um, what you should know that the Swiss basically is funding a science-based innovation. It's not all innovation. So we have to, to shape the innovation in order to fit the, and to get the grants accepted. The second point is uh, probably also very, very important is that notion of uh, unique a selling proposition. So the idea is not to have some innovation that you can develop with a dev or any kind of software. It is really about to have something unique. And here also we, we improve, we help to improve the, the project in order to, to hit that, uh, that goal, to have a unique value proposition. The goal there is to have no competition of, on the market, although that's, of course, you know, you have to consolidate probably with some patterns in order to get there. The, the third point that is really essential and also enjoyable is that we 
we achieved to create a, altogether a dream team, and I'm very proud to, to be that. <laughs> so to be at the forefront of the AI research, especially in computer vision, and also to have that uh, continuous support. Uh, Cortexia also, that's important, uh, the final point maybe, is that um, they are also member of the Alliance um, at uh, EPFL. So that um, organization, that association basically, uh, provides a, a unique value proposition to, uh, to help uh, to support all along the journey, the innovation journey, um, those companies. And, and I'm very proud and helpful to, to help you further. So they have all projects, basically, the whole range of projects from a small inner shake. So Julien is here on the basis on that, half for that. But also a wonderful project uh, these days that is a Swiss accelerator that uh, everybody tries to get, but uh, not everybody gets it. Thank you very much, Robert. And now from the other perspective, from the research lab perspective, it would be very interesting to see, okay, also from you, Jean-Philippe, I have the feeling you had a lot of interest collaborations. So the first one, you have a lot of experience in that. What makes this collaboration unique? We heard some elements of that. Can you maybe explain that? Yeah, uh, well, I will be short because a lot of things have already been said. But uh, first of all, uh, each project is unique, of course. Uh, but this one is pretty special. And I don't know if we can run the video again. It would be interesting to have the video in the background when we, we discuss that. Um, I don't know if it's visible. Anyway, um, so the project first in terms of topic is, is very interesting. It addresses very important uh, and timely challenges uh, in terms of uh, environment monitoring. Uh, second, in terms of the science, it's pretty challenging. And in the video, if you, were, if you have seen it, uh, our job was to recognize objects on the ground uh, in real life, in the wild. So in co environmental conditions that can vary from day to night, from rain to sun, spring, fall, snow, and that's very challenging actually. Also having the context of an object is pretty challenging. So we probably have seen that in the video. Uh, the, third, the third interesting part of this project is that it leverages uh, expertise from different partners, very, very diverse and uh, across disciplines. So uh, machine learning, computer vision in, on our side, uh, operations research from the side of the University of Applied Sciences in Geneva, and uh, product development integration, market analysis, mar market development, and the field of application itself on, on the side of Cortex. Yeah, so very interesting. And last but not least, it allowed us to create a long-lasting collaboration, sustainable collaboration. Julia mentioned it already, but we have been uh, collaborating for, for more than seven years, actually, uh, even before the creation of Cortexia, and all along we have contributed to the, to the development of their product and solution portfolio uh, with the support of Alliance, with the support of InnoSwiss. We had InnoShake, we had uh, projects, uh, normal InnoSwiss projects, now we have direct funding, and we have the chance to have now Julien two days per week in our lab as a, a very concrete outcome of this collaboration, which allows really to continue this flow and innovation and to learn from each other, actually. So, very interesting project. That Great, happened. thank you very much. And just a final question to close because we have to look at the time is, from your perspective, from each of you, um, what be, would, be your, would be your advice to companies which are still hesitating in starting in this endeavor? Maybe starting with you, Robert? Yeah, so uh, as you, you know, if you heard, Alemos is there, but also, of course, InnoSuisse. So basically, as an innovation mentor from InnoSuisse, I will help you in order to get there. But uh, maybe one thing that is also very, very strong, we have the tremendous chance to have an, an ecosystem at TPFL that is very, very strong and that enables us to, to provide this type of service and in the sense that to, to help and uh, the TTO also, thanks for them, because they help a lot in this case to, uh, to make it possible to have uh, Julien at the lab of uh, Jean-Philippe. So I think that that's just come to see us, make it, to make it simple. Thank you. Julien, from your side, from your point of view. Maybe the main uh, fear that you might have is uh, we will get something out of the lab, something crazy, we don't even know how to implement it. So there are solutions to overcome this barrier and we have been quite innovating by uh, yeah, improving the workflow, having somebody in the lab and having a direct connection to the lab. Uh, it really works and uh, don't hesitate, come to me, I will be uh, hanging around later if you have questions. And how do you answer this fear? Yeah. Okay. My, my, my quick advice would be uh, just do it, 
but uh, do it knowing what you can do yourself as a company and what your partners can do. It's very important to identify the right partners. If you are a small company, you might not, or from the very beginning, have the research and development capabilities, and EPFL is very much at, at a higher level of research and development. So maybe you need something in between, maybe a uh, University of Applied Science, HOS. If you're a big company with a huge research center like Nestle or whatever, maybe you can have a more direct collaboration with, with EPFL through you know, Swiss or others. So know what you can do yourself, manage your expectations, and then it will be a success. Great. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we move forward. Thank you, Marion, for coming.